Okay, so all animals expire after one to two billion heartbeats. Okay, all, all mammals, whether it's a mouse, giraffe, elephant, whale, one to two billion heartbeats, that's it, they're out. Okay, hands up if you think that's true. Okay, few people, hands up if you think it's false. Okay, so most people think that that's just true, that's just false, there's a load of rubbish. Okay, let's see, let's do some math, let's see what the answer is. Okay, well, what, the way I'm going to do this is use um, a rule that uh, uh, Max Kleiber came up with in the 1930s. So, um, so his rule basically said that an animal's metabolic rate, so this is basically how, how, how quickly it uses energy, okay, it scales to a quarter, three quarters power of the animal's mass. So if you take the mass of the animal and you raise it to the power of three quarters, it says that's proportional to its metabolic rate. That was his, his rule. Okay. And the way he came up with that rule was he actually calculated the metabolic rate for loads of animals and their mass and plotted it on a graph and drew a line through it. Okay. So this is what his data looked like. Okay. So, um, so what we've got on the x-axis here is the body mass, so the weight of our animals. And you can see I've plotted it on a slightly funny scale. So I've gone up in sort of, I've multiplied by 10 each scale. So I've got 0 0.1 times 10 give me 1, times 10 give me 10, and so on. So this is called a log scale. But the nice thing about plotting things on this scale is that we can plot very small animals that might only weigh a few grams to very, very large animals like the blue whale that weigh 170 tonnes, but we can plot them on the same kind of, see them on the same graph without having a huge piece of graph paper. So I've got this on the log scale here, and I've done the same with the metabolic rate. So this is in watts. Okay, you can also think about it, calories burned per hour. You can think about it, it's the same, the same kind of quantity. Okay, so it's how much energy you have to use just to kind of keep on functioning. Yeah. Um, so um, so with, what he did is he plotted the mass and the, the metabolic rate for all these animals on a graph. And what you see is that they all lay on a straight line. Yeah? We've got a mouse down here, we've got an elephant up here, all these animals. And that straight line has a gradient of three quarters. And on a log plot, on a log scale like this, an equation that's got something raised to a power, that would look like a straight line where the power is the, the gradient of that, of that line. Okay? So what, what this uh, straight line tells us, the gradient is actually mass raised to the gradient of this line. So mass raised to the power of three quarters actually would then give us our metabolic rate. So this is Kyber's rule, and this is how he, he, he worked it out. This was how he came up with his predictions. So, so this was his rule. Um, it's a little bit controversial, and people don't quite understand why it is three quarters and not something else. So let me explain the, the controversy over this. So, um, so let's use kind of our, our approximation ideas and see where that gets us. Okay, so I, I had at the beginning my cow and I said, let's think of it as a sphere. Well, we're going to go with that, that idea. So think of my animal as a sphere. Okay, so if my animal has size L, so like radius L if you like, then, um, and a mass M, then the surface area has got to be proportional to L squared. Okay area of a sphere is going to be proportional to my radius squared. Okay. Uh, the volume then is going to be proportional to L cubed. Okay. Um, and so and our mass is going to be proportional to our volume as well. We've already seen that when we did the calculations for the tree and the whale. Okay. <laughs> that, um, that, that, that mass was actually volume times density. So, so, so mass, we can say, is proportional to our volume. Okay, it's proportional to L cubed. Now, if we just rearrange that, then we can say that our, our, our size of our animal is proportional to m to the third. Okay. Okay. So we've got we've got this relationship so far. Um, but where does what they think of how we, main way we use energy is actually related to heat loss. Okay. So. So I think that heat loss is the main way that we, we use energy. It's the main source of our metabolic rate. And since heat loss is proportional to your surface area, we're saying, well, then metabolic rate should be proportional to your surface area. It should be proportional to L squared. Okay. Well, L is m to the one-third. So L squared is going to be m to the two over three. So m to the two-thirds. So if I just follow this kind of idea we've been working with, my spherical cow, and work through the kind of 
maths that we've been doing, then I'm predicting that the relationship should be that metabolic rate scales as m to the two thirds. Okay. And Kleiber's rule was that it was m to the three quarters, so different. Okay. This is the controversy. Okay. Kleiber's rule says that metabolic rate should be proportional to m to the three over four. Um, and so even now this debate is still going on is like, why is it three quarters and there's been hypothesis about this uh, in, as recent as the 90s um, there's uh, so Jeff West and um, uh, has, has a physicist uh, together with a, a, a biologist have been uh, uh, working on, on this and came up with a theory um, so their theory was that in fact the heat loss is kind of is going to be related to uh, your ability to uh, kind of uh, your, your vasculature, your arteries to get to places and, and your artery system is kind of like a, a fractal so it's got all this branching structure and, uh, and, and, and their, their theory was that the very, fi the very finest uh, capillaries you get in any animal, so the very finest blood vessels there's the smallest they can get, and that's just limited by the size of cells. Okay, so even in a mouse, the smallest size of capillaries in the mouse is the same as the smallest size in, in an elephant. Okay, so what this does is it causes a uh, a supply problem for large animals. Okay, the because the large animal is so big, it's there's a, an issue of trying to get stuff to places. Okay, it's a lot further away in a big animal to get stuff from one part of the animal to another. And so it causes a supply problem. So the claim is then that this two-thirds idea is perhaps overestimating how efficient our artery system is at getting uh, things to where it needs to be, how, how efficient we are at using our energy. It's not that good. Okay. And so they said by, by doing uh, some work at modelling the capillaries, so our artery structure, they actually managed to get the three-quarters uh, law. And so their theory is that it can be explained by this. And so, but that's still a debate. Even now, even today, people are still trying to explain this. And, and this is by no means the accepted theory. So this is still an open problem that physicists, biologists, mathematicians are all trying to understand. So what about my original statement? All mammals expire after one to two billion heartbeats. Okay. I haven't quite told you enough to, to be able to say this for sure. Um, so... Kleiber's rule is the, the key, right? So basically uh, what he's saying is that uh, the large animals will live longer. And the reason they live longer is they're going to have a slower metabolic rate, their heart beats less frequently. Okay? Your, your tissue basically it sort of has a limit capacity. There's only so much it can do over its lifetime. And because that's sort of fixed and the, the, the smaller uh, animals, their hearts are beating faster they're going to live for less time, okay? Because they're kind of using up their potential a lot quicker. Whereas the larger animals, their, their heart's beating much slower, so they, they're kind of losing up their potential that their tissue can, can do much, much, uh, a, a much lower rate. So, uh, in fact, this statement is, in fact, true. Okay, so contrary to what most of you thought, most mammals, on average, so it's on average, will expire after one to two billion heartbeats, okay? So this is a good reason to kind of go out there, do exercise, and kind of slow that heart rate down. <laughs> so um, 